Please welcome Dr. Raz Itzhaki Tamir, CEO, SkyFi. Hi. I believe we are all connected. Every one of us has a mission, tikkun, we call it. He has to undergo in life. And the only way to know about our mission is through our interactions with others, through our connections. So connections is one of the greatest and most important things we have in life. So talking about connection, this is an iconic image of the internet. It bears great resemblance to our brain. Like our brain, it evolves in time when new concepts, new ideas, new people are, enters our global consciousness. So, like the brain, our body is composed of organs. All of them connect. They are connected through our nervous system. And actually, when we feel, for example, when my foot aches, I do not feel the pain actually in my foot. I do not see in my eyes or hear in my ears. They're all just sensors. I feel, I hear, I see here in my brain. So, like our body, every continent in the world is like an organ. They all have to be connected. I think the best image of that is, let's take Facebook relationships. See how they look like. This is how Facebook relationships evolve in time, actually drawing the map of the world. But still living some dark places. In these places, people cannot communicate. They are not linked. They cannot tell their story. story. So, is it possible to have a nervous system, like we have in the body, but for us, for every human being in the world. How can we do that? The only place in the world that can connect us all, whether we are at, at sea, on land, or in the air, is space. Satellites. Satellites can connect us all. But as you know, we do not have such satellite services. Why is that? That's because satellites are very expensive. It costs tens to hundreds of millions of dollars to build and launch a satellite. But imagine, what if this was not the case? What if we could build satellites where, that were both affordable and still powerful enough to connect us all? That's exactly what we did. This is a real-sized satellite. This satellite is called Space Seed. Like a seed, we send it to space in clusters. They are very small, so many satellites are sent together. And when they reach space, they grow. They grow to be a full satellite, capable to transmitting up to one gigabit per second, which is 500 times what these type of satellites, called nanosatellites, are capable to do today. Let me see you the full size. Let's show you. So, this is, uh, this is a grown-up satellite. So, this satellite has expanded solar panels and a large dish that enables it to communicate at a high throughput, high rate, with Earth. Sixty satellites, sixty satellites of this size can cover the entire planet, providing internet and access to everyone. Let me show you how it works. So 
a cluster of satellites is launched. They share the cost of the, of the launch. So when the canopy opens, we launch all the satellites. First of all, we share the ride with the large satellites to reduce costs. And here we are. The pods open and the satellites go out. And then they open. And then each satellite joins, joins the constellation of 60 satellites, providing access to everyone, everywhere, all the time. Our satellites have a special system that enables to change the footprint of the satellite in order to increase the bandwidth the capacity of the satellite, in this case, towards Israel. They behave as a cluster using machine learning algorithms to improve the service they provide. Thank you. So here are a few examples of what we can achieve with such a constellation. We can provide Wi-Fi, create Wi-Fi bubbles in Africa, providing internet access. We can provide backhauling to cellular in the US. Backhauling to the cloud in Japan. All of that is done simultaneously, since the constellation covers the entire planet and it is very flexible. We can communicate with airplanes, with boats, even we can provide backhauling services to the submerged data centers you mentioned before. So this is an infrastructure that we are currently creating. And I would like to conclude with an idea. It's actually a line from a song by Leonard Cohen saying, there is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. So, in our view, the best usage used to our technology is the idea that actually the light is us. The ideas, the stories, what we bring. And we are trying to connect everyone to create a better world for us and for future generations. Thank you very much.